Hello, in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to install Microsoft SQL Server Developer Edition. Right now, I am on Google search engine. On the search bar, type SQL Server Downloads. Click on the first link, SQL Server Downloads. This will take us to the Microsoft website. Here you can see there are multiple options are available for downloading like Azure, Edge, On-Prem and many other. Here you can see Developer Edition. We are going to click on Download now. And this will download the initial setup file. Alright. Click on Open File. Now there are three types of installation is available. Basic, Custom and Media Download. So we are going to go with the basic installation. So let's click on it. Accept the terms and condition. Click on accept. Once you have clicked on accept, you will see specify SQL Server install location. Currently the install location is in C drive program files Microsoft SQL Server folder. Now. If you want to change the location, you can go ahead and change, but for this tutorial, I'm going to stick with the C drive location. Now click on install. I have fast forwarded the video, so it's moving very fast. Normally it takes around 5 to 10 minutes for the installation. That is also depends on the internet speed and the processing power of the server. So the installation has been completed successfully. Here you can see some of the information which is provided by the SQL Server. If you are new to SQL Server, you can save this information for future. Here you can see the instance name that is MS SQL Server and the connection string which is given in the bracket. You can copy this from here. Next one you can see the path of the SQL Server where it is installed. After this is done, we have to install one more thing which is a management studio from which you can manage the SQL Server. So SQL Server is a database engine and the management studio is the interface from which you can manage the SQL Server, you can run queries and other things. So to install it, click on SSMS. Once you clicked on it, it opens up the browser and the Microsoft website from where you can download the SQL Server management studio. Here you can see download SSMS. Click on the link which says free download SQL Server Management Studio 19. Once you clicked on it, it will show you the file is downloading. So I'm going to fast forward the video. Otherwise you have to wait for very long. So once the downloading is completed, click on open file. Now there are multiple windows. Let me close all of them. All right. Now on the installation window, we have to click on install. So let's click on it. I'm going to fast forward the video. Normally it takes around 3 to 4 minutes for the installation depending on your internet speed and the processing speed of the server or your system. The installation has been completed successfully. Now let's click on close. You might be already knowing how to connect to the SQL Server, but let me show it to you. First one you can see that is the SQL Server database engine and just below that you can see SQL Server Tools 19. Click on the drop down arrow and there you will see the SQL Server Management Studio. Click on it. This will open up the SQL Server Management Studio. If you are opening it for the first time, it may take some time to open, around 5 to 10 seconds. Once it is open, click on connect. Now we are connected to the SQL Server database engine using SQL Server Management Studio. In our next video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can enable SQL Server authentication. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe.